Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I have the entire Kylie birthday collection. We are gonna go through everything. I have drop-ins of me applying the makeup. I have swatches, thoughts, pros, cons. There are actually some items in this collection that I absolutely adore and love. Yes, big shocker right there because I kind of went a little bit hard on the Kai Shadow palette and I still feel the same way. I've used this a few more times. In fact, I actually used the center color right here, this orange guy, in my crease today. And again, I kind of was like, you know, it's good. It's okay. But I'm not mesmerized by this and I want to be mesmerized by makeup. But there are things here that I really give a huge thumbs up to. There are items that I personally don't like. It's kind of a 50-50, so we're gonna dive right in. I'm just here trying to give my perspective on products and what works and what doesn't for me. You can then take it from there, and we all have different opinions, and that's okay. And that that should be more than okay, because who wants to watch every single video being exactly the same point of view? I don't. Um, so let me just start there. Out of all of the Kylie collections, I love the packaging on this collection the most. The birthday collection is the most fun as far as the packaging goes because of the gold. I love gold and I believe it was said that everything was infused with gold. I read that on Instagram somewhere. The gel liner has gold. The eyeliner has gold. The copper cream shadow has gold as an ingredient. The rose gold has gold as an ingredient. So some of these are infused with gold. I love gold. You guys know it's a thing. I think it's magical and beautiful to wear as jewelry, but also it does wonders for your skin. And hey, let's throw some in cosmetics and see what happens. It could be a fun time. So we will start with what I absolutely love the most in this collection that I would highly, highly recommend. If you can get your hands on it, it is worth it and I will keep these with me top shelf for sure. These are the cream shadows. They kind of smell weird. That's my only negative thing to say about them is they smell like a black Sharpie. It just, it smells very chemically, which is a little bit concerning, but they look so beautiful that you can almost just get past it pretty quickly. So here's two finger swatches. You don't need a lot, a little bit goes a long way. When I first applied these on my eyelid, I just used my fingertip with the gold and I was so surprised that just a little bit just went like shh everywhere. I actually took a crease brush and then fanned everything up through the crease and out and kept the lid really, really intense in color. I could imagine doing some really cool eyelining with this as well. If I was forced to pick between these two, I would go with copper and then rose gold. Copper is just, it's so, 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 so beautiful. This gets like an A plus rating from me. Rose gold gets an A. It's a little bit chunkier. It's a tiny bit harder to blend, but it's still really pretty. I'm wearing it on the inner portion of my lid and underneath on my lower lash line, kind of in the inner uh, corner a little bit. And I love the way it looks. I love the way these wear. They wear all freaking day long. So once they set, they are not moving. They are not going anywhere. They stay in place. You want to make sure you put the lid on pretty tight with these. Otherwise they will dry out. From there we have the Kai liner set and I love the play on words. I just think it's so cute. If I mean, if my name was Kylie and I came out with cosmetics, I would do the same thing. I think it's adorable. So we have the Kylie Kai liner. This is an eyeliner and gel eye eyeliner you get a brush in here which is really not the greatest quality it's just a little bit too thick I like something a little more precise my favorite eyeliner brush is from Mac and I will show an insert side by side you can see that one is much more precise and that is just personally what I like to get super close to the lash line so this brush was a nice attempt being that it's a full size brush, but it just wasn't that great in my opinion. Now the actual gel eyeliner is super soft. It, you go in there and you think that you are going to just need to dab, but like the second you go in there, it's like you can punch your way through to the bottom of it if you needed to. Not that you would need to, but do you know what I mean? Like sometimes gel liners are just stiff and hard. This one is really soft, which makes me want to experiment with actually using it as a cream eyeshadow as well. So that's a little swatch just kind of on the back of my hand. This does have a little bit of gold infused with that chocolate brown. Not my favorite when it comes to lining. I don't really like micro glitter in liners. That's just my preference. A lot of people love that and that's totally cool. But for me, mm, I probably won't be reaching for this a lot just because I like either straight rich chocolate espresso brown 
or just rich black for liners. But the formula on this is not bad. It glided right on. I am wearing it right now. And I think you could get an even better effect with a more precise brush. The eyeliner in here is a very similar formula to the lip liner. So if you are familiar with any of the Kylie lip kits, it's that same really blendable, kind of gel feeling. It's like a creamy gel. It's really, really smooth. The pigment is not super, super rich. So I did try to put this in my waterline and it's, uh, it's not showing up much, which when I go in my waterline, I want things to really, really show up. But I have to say on the upper lash line, it is going to smoke out really easily. A little bit easier than the actual gel eyeliner. I feel like you have more control to go in with a pencil brush and kind of smooth things out. It does have that same effect of the micro glitter in here. The gel liner has a little bit more of the micro glitter. The pencil liner does not have as much, but it is still there, which for me is not my favorite. So you guys know how I feel about that. This kit right here is pretty awesome. I'm going to totally shock you guys and say that the birthday edition of the Kylie lip kit is beautiful. I feel like they improved the formula. I think it's more moisturizing. It doesn't feel as drying, suck the life out of my lips as some of the lip kits have in the past. I will link my review of other lip kits below. Some of them I liked, some of them I didn't. This one I actually enjoy the color quite a bit. It's exactly the same scent as the other Kylie lip kits. It's that kind of vanilla type of a scent. And going on the lips, it's really rich in pigment and it does not bunch. And it's a little bit more moisturizing. So I think they took feedback and really improved the formula. That's what I'm gonna say. I think it's pretty good. The lip liner is really, really creamy. I wish it was a little bit more stiff for such a dark, lip color but i get that they through and through have like one type of a formula kind of like how mac lip liners are really stiff you always know that that's going to be the formula on a mac lip liner these ones are always going to be super super creamy so just keep a heads up you might have to clean up the outer edge of your lip a little bit with concealer and a slanted brush but these are nice and the color is beautiful so this is the shade leo and I like it. I also picked up these guys. We have a golden liquid lipstick and a golden gloss. The golden metal matte lipstick is called Lord. Dear Lord, I look crazy in it. It's not for me. It's n It does not look good on me. This type of a yellowy gold undertone looks horrible with my skin tone, but the formula, again, I feel is a little more moisturizing than the last batch. It wasn't terribly itchy, drying, none of that. So if you enjoy this type of a gold look on your lips, you might enjoy it. It's just not my favorite color but I wanted to order it and swatch it and feel it and try it anyway because you guys whenever anything Kylie launches my email my messages my DM snap everybody wants to see it so I feel like you guys are voting by watching videos and the Kylie videos get tons of views and that's how I know also that you guys are into it so keep thumbsing these videos up leaving me comments letting me know as more collections launch i'm happy to purchase the entire thing and swatch and let you guys know how things are going from my perspective so moving on this is poppin and i'm going to put a little bit on right here they definitely improved the lip gloss wand itself i'm not seeing any of that fraying that i did in the last batch of kits and this you can see look how like yellow that is I think this looks awful on me. I do much better with a more cool tone type of a peachy thing if I'm gonna be highlighting my lips. That might just be me if you're into this whole super gold look. This is really pretty, it's not bad. Now moving on to the actual birthday edition matte liquid lipsticks. This is an adorable set. If you have been wanting to try different colors but you don't wanna spend, you know, X amount for each kit that comes with a lip liner and the lipstick and it's full size and you actually want to try a few of the smaller shades, then this could be a fun kit for you. I think the formula has improved a tiny bit. In this kit, you get Exposed, Dulce K, Coco K, Candy K, and Kirsten. 
Now these are all really pretty. I did try on Exposed for you guys because that was a newer one that I hadn't tried before. And again, it's a better formula right now than I remember the last ones being as far as it being less dry and more even in application. But for me, this color I think did not do me any favors, not the best. You get a teeny tiny Leo, the larger one that I showed you guys that they have the birthday kit. You get an itty bitty one in here and then you get Coco K, Candy K, and Dulce K, which are I think the most popular of the liquid lipsticks in these teeny tiny little guys, which actually the doe foot applicator in here makes it very easy to apply. I feel like the smaller handle and everything allows you to really apply the liquid lipstick beautifully. So if you're curious to kind of try out the liquid lipsticks, I would definitely recommend getting that birthday kit if you can, because I know it is hard to get a hold of these products. So there you have it. That is my take on the Kylie Birthday Collection. I think that I am going to be die hard loving the cream shadows, and I'm super excited that I discovered them. The rest of these, I think, you know, it is what it is. It's color preference. It's if you like a liquid lipstick. It's if you like micro glitter in your eyeliner. And I hope that these pros and cons help you out and that you enjoyed this review. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Go have a great weekend and I will see you guys next time. Mwah.